Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing a back bend class. So we're gonna get more into the back of your body. We want to strengthen the upper back. We'll do a bit of shoulders as well, just to strengthen and mobilize this area. Let's get started in all fours. So hands and knees. Now in your all fours position, I want you to pay more attention to your knuckles and the base of your wrist. So the knuckles here and the base of your wrist, the whole palm area is responsible for bearing the weight. So try not to shift your weight too much into the fingertips or to be too heavy on the wrist. You want there to be an even amount of weight on the palm so it can support your whole body as you go through your movements. Okay, from here, push the palms into the mat. Now, eyes of the elbows are facing forward and careful not to extend them too much. So if you're hyperextended here and you're extending too much, can you try to soften the elbows just a little bit? Okay, now from here, inhale to arch the spine, push the chest forward in between the arms, chin draws up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, start from the pelvis as you round the back. Articulating through each segment of the spine, chin draws into your chest. Again, inhaling to arch. Notice the sit bones drawing up to the ceiling. Palms are still heavy. Very good. And exhale to round. Few more. Inhale to arch. Shoulder blades squeezing towards each other. Chest coming forward. And exhale to round. One more time here. Inhaling to arch the back. And exhale to round. One more time on the inhale, arch the back and stay here. Now, can you draw the shoulders back a little bit more? Can you push through your hands? Can you send your chest forward? Now, last part, can you think of sliding your wrist towards your knees? So you get a little bit of a pull, feeling the upper back engage, holding here. Two more rounds of breath. And slowly release, child's pose. Sink your hips towards your heels. Walk the fingertips forward, lengthening your spine. Take the right hand under your left arm, right ear to the floor, thread the needle. And release. Left hand comes under the right arm, left ear to the floor. Switch. First side again, right hand under the left arm. This time, if you, if you want to go deeper, the left hand can rotate and walk over towards the right, opening up the chest here. Walk the left hand back to center. Release, come back into your child's pose. And then switch, left arm comes under. Walk the right fingertips forward and towards the left. Deepening the breath, opening up your chest. Very nice, return back to center. Child's pose. Lengthen the spine nice and long. Two more rounds of breath here. Now in this child's pose, I want you to think breathing into the sides of your rib cage and the back of your body. So we're not just doing three, uh, we're not just doing belly breathing, 
we're thinking of the breath as a 360 degree expansion. So to the side, to the back, to the front. And this allows you to use the full capacity of your lungs, full potential of the breath. Okay, lift the head up, hands to the floor, pushing back into your up stretch. So your hips will come up to the ceiling. Try to ground your heels towards the floor. Okay, from here, lift the heels up. Bend the left knee, send the right heel towards the floor. Come back onto tippy toes and switch. Bend the right knee, left heel to the floor. Back to tippy toes and switch. And switch. One full breath to switch. Keep on moving, keep on going. Now, when you reach your tippy toes, make sure you're at your highest point. So you're really trying to stand on the balls of your feet. And every time you try to ground the heel towards the mat, try to push it down as much as you can, keeping your legs straight. We'll go for another five. Another four, passing through tippy toes each time. Another three. Last two. And one more. Now let's meet in high heels and tippy toes. Can you push your chest towards your thighs? Can you send the shoulder blades towards your thighs? Now from here, let's micro bend the knees, send the hips up towards the ceiling and press the chest towards your thighs even more. So now you're feeling it into your shoulders. We're getting into the shoulders here. Now with the palms, keep pushing into the mat. Can you spread the palms out? And when you spread the palms out, you should feel the shoulder blades start to widen. Hold it here. Two more rounds of breath. Good release, knees to the floor and then rest. Okay, next one we're gonna go into is your dolphin plank. So it's the same feeling as just now when you're up stretch. You're going to have your hands, your forearms on the mat, interlace the fingers, push the elbows down. Then from here, your hips are going to pike up to the ceiling and I want you to push strongly with the elbows so your upper arms are tall. Then from here, you want to send the chest towards your thighs. So same thing as just now, except a bit more shoulder, shoulder load. Now from here, keep your hips high, tippy toes. Walk the feet forward as much as you can, as much as you can. Now keep pushing your chest towards your thighs. Keep the legs straight, chest towards your thighs. Hold this. So it's a lot of shoulder strength here. Two more rounds of breath. Very good. Lower your knees to the floor and rest, child's pose. Make sure your knees are wide, big toes touch. Okay, we're gonna go into some mobility here. So what I want you to do is make a fist with your right hand. Now make sure your thumb is out so we can come up if you want to. Now from here, can you lift the right fist off the floor? And lower. Two more like this, right fist comes up. And lower. One more, right fist comes up, hold. Now right fist stays off the floor. Can you draw a big circle back, all the way back. Bend the right elbow and send the fist up your back, but don't let it rest. Send the fist up your back, up your back. When you can't go anymore, release the arm, arm straight. Now thumb turns around, it points up to the ceiling and you rotate, you circle the arm all the way back, hover your fist and then release. 
two more here. Right fist comes up. Thumb points down to the floor as you circle back. Bend the elbow. Walk the fist up your back. Arm straightens. Thumb turns up. Draw a big circle back. And rest. Last one. Very nice, and then rest. Switching sides, make a fist with the left hand, thumb comes up. First few, just the lifts. So inhale, exhale to lift, and release, last two. One more, inhale, exhale to lift. Good, and hold. Now from here, circle the arm back, thumb points down. Bend the elbow, fist comes up your back. Arm straight, thumb points up. You circle the arm back, hover and release. Two more like this, continue. Now when you're doing your movement, try to pay attention to the steps, pay attention to what you're feeling. Maybe this one feels different from the other side. Maybe harder, maybe easier. One more time. And then release, rest, child's pose. Slowly coming all the way up when you're ready. Take both arms up, inhale, full stretch. And exhale, release. Two more, inhale, arms up. And exhale, release. Last one, inhale, arms up, full stretch. Good, and release. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me on the mat.